Hi YouTube, um, what I've got in front of you is the Samsung Galaxy S3 in white. Um, what I'm going to be going through is my opinion and verdict of the phone um, after using it for about a month or so. Um, so, the phone itself is a brilliant phone, it's got quad core processor so it's really fast and fluid. Um, you've got 8 megapixel camera that can record uh, HD videos, full HD videos, you've got a nice front facing camera quality as well. Um, you got your sensor there, you got a nice phone, good looking phone there. Uh, a step, uh, if, you look at, if you look at the uh, aesthetics of the phone, it's brilliant, it's spot on. But a few things that I don't like about the phone design is the cheap feel of the back cover. Um, when you take that apart, you, f you can see that the plastic feels really cheap, even the sound of it taking it off, the flex flexibility of it, I mm, don't really like that. Um, under the cover though, things that you've got is like your expansion slot for uh, micro SD, which is brilliant because the phone memory is big as it is, but you can still expand it, allowing you to allowing you to make most out of your phone. Really, you can uh, expand the memory, record more videos, and do a lot more with your device. Other function that uh, Samsung's included with the, with the handset um, is uh, S Voice. S Voice is very uh, similar to Siri, and it works fine. Um, but I don't see myself using it uh, day to day uh, because it's not as fluid and smooth in my opinion as the iPhone 4S uh, uh, the way they've implemented Siri on theirs um, a good example uh, of good feature on this phone as well is Smart Stay the two sensors there allows you to basically keep your eyes on the phone and uh, that allows the phone to stay on and not go into standby mode or go blank while, you, while you're reading your, your, your book or uh, doing other other things, important things on the phone. Uh, browsing the internet on the phone was was a was a good experience as well. It's nice and fast, nice and smooth, good quality on the screen as well. When you watch videos, uh, things like that, that's spot on, and I like that uh, about the handset. Um, talking about S Voice, let's give you a quick demo. Uh, what's the weather like? Now I've got the volume turned down so you won't hear it speak but you can see how responsive that is when you ask uh, what the weather's like um, and that's spot on. Um, other thing that they've got on the phone is something called pop out play. Pop out play is brilliant and you've got a video playing and for whatever reason you need to do other things just pop it out and it overlays on top of your phone and you can move it around while it's still playing and that's thanks to the quad core processor in there and that's very well implemented. Now don't know if that's a bit gimmicky because things like YouTube doesn't do that and it would be nice if they implemented that for YouTube as well so while you're watching YouTube play video you can do other things as well um, when you open the camera app um, one brilliant thing is you've got lots of options there to make the most out of your photography there's no excuse to take bad photos at all uh, you got things like uh, changing your shooting mode to burst mode that can shoot rapidly 20 shots uh, and then allowing you to pick the best one out of the 20 shots which is brilliant I like that about the phone um, and I definitely recommend the phone just because of that alone <laughs> but yeah I really like the phone um, it's definitely one of the best Android devices out there the price point is spot on as well it's not too expensive it's in the same line as uh, say the HTC One X and uh, that's spot on uh, about the phone and the pricing um, Overall, the phone is brilliant. The good things about the phone are the camera quality, the screen quality. It's got a few features on there that are very nice. Uh, it does everything perfectly well. Um, the, bad, the, the downside, the con of the phone, the, the things that I didn't like about the phone are the, screen, uh, the, the size of the phone itself might not be suitable for some people. Uh, although, I've used Gal Samsung Galaxy Note before and that's not really a big problem for me at all. Um, other things that I didn't like about the phone is the cheap feel of the back cover. But apart from that, everything else is spot on and the phone uh, is basically, I have no doubt this phone would do very well and is, a, is now for me the main competitor to the iPhone 4S, uh, if not better than the 4S, but some Apple fans out there would uh, disagree with me. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about the phone as well and if you have any comment or any additions, if I've missed anything out, leave a comment below, share my video as well, hit the like button if you like it and uh, thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll see you in another video very soon.